This is actually a video uh, answering a question someone had about what happens when you call 911 and we get dispatched. So at the end of this video, again, if you guys have any suggestions of things you want to see or uh, questions about what we do, leave them back there at, with Facebook or leave a tweet with Twitter. Um, so we're going to go on the station, I'm going to call alarm, and they're going to send a dispatch to us and you'll see the lights, uh, hear the alarm, and then from there we'll come back to the truck and you guys can look at the computer and see what we see when we go to your house. So follow me. All right. Okay, so we're inside station 219. Uh, we're down on Elliott and Signal Butte. It's one of our newest stations. But um, throughout the station, we have these light bars up here. And when a call comes in, it tells us what the call is, whether it's a medical emergency, a structure fire, or a special service. Um, just a few minutes ago, we had a fire alarm down south of us, and it said spec. Okay, 219, channel 3, channel 111, so it gives us an idea of what it is that we're going to get. Also, um, we have all these speakers throughout the whole station, all the way up the top. And all those speakers have a red light kind of in the middle of them, which will show you, and those kick on. So we get an alarm, the light, and then the dispatch bars. And again, they're all throughout the station. We're going to go back into one of the rooms. I'm going to call dispatch. They're just going to give us an encode, but it'll have the light bar will light up. Uh, the light will go off and the uh, alarm system will go off so you guys can hear what we hear, all right? Station 219 to alarm. Station 219. Can we get an encode test, please? Yeah. All right, um, we're back in one of our bunk rooms and uh, I just put in a, a request to dispatch to dispatch um, an encode test, just test the system for, for the city or for us here at the fire station. So once it comes in, you'll see this light will light up up here, and uh, it'll give us the alarm. And then over on the wall, you'll see it, it, it encodes us. So what it's saying is uh, we've got an encode test. That's actually the fire station's address and normally it would be the address of wherever we were going for the call. So when you, when you do call 911, um, that was one of the questions, uh, depending on where you're at, if you're on a cell phone, um, it'll, it'll try to locate you through the um, antennas, with the closest ones that you're at. Um, if not, when you call, there's caller ID. When you do an ENCO test, you get all the radio traffic, so that's what's going on. Um, but if not, when you call 911, your address pops up, and then every truck has a global tracking device on top of it. So the computer figures out which truck's closest, and then it dispatches that truck. So we'll go out to the truck. Um, well, I'll show you the computer that we have and how it routes us in and it shows us kind of how to get there. It gives us information about your call so we can um, kind of pre-plan what we're going to do. If it's cardiac, you know, we can get ready to do uh, cardiac stuff or difficulty breathing or whatnot. So follow me out to the truck. So as we've already covered, you call 911. Uh, your information goes to dispatch. Dispatch figures out where you're at. They dispatch the closest unit, and then you guys saw the red lights and the um, alarm going off. And then we'll come into the, the truck, and we'll get on the truck, and the computer will be up. And normally, because we just did an encode test, if this was a medical emergency or a fire, it would say fire or med up here at the top. And then it gives us information. So if you called in having a medical emergency, it would basically say your age, your signs and symptoms, um, chest pain, whatnot, um, so we could start preparing uh, for a chest pain call or whatever kind of call it comes in. Uh, then we'll switch over here, and because it was an ENCO test, it just flagged the fire station, and that's where we're at. Um, there was an old, an old fire, or an old call down here, and we'll just follow uh, the truck down to where that flag is and route ourselves in. So it always gives us information on how to get to your house, uh, what kind of a medical emergency you might be having and um, the global tracking uh, shows us the way. So if, if you guys have any questions, again, uh, leave us a question on Facebook or leave us a tweet on Twitter, and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Thanks. Be safe out there.